How's it going, everybody? Saturday, January 8th. I'm waiting for my daughter to come out of the house from getting finished getting ready from changing into her uniform. I'm gonna go out for dinner, or I guess a lupper, whatever you want to call it, lunch slash supper with her. Her sisters are both working. The youngest just got her first job, so she's working her first day today. So we're gonna take the other one out for lunch. Or a lupper, as we like to call it here in my household. Now, I figured I'd give you guys uh, my quick prediction on what's going to happen between Todd Hutchins and Lachlan. Um, I don't really know what to say about this one. Lachlan don't really have a whole lot to go off of besides how he's done against some of the Australians. This will be his first big event outside of Australia. Uh, it'll be a good, good determine on how far he actually is. Um, I know Bowen likes to talk very highly of him. So it could be could be interesting. Maybe maybe he is the real deal from down under. Who knows? Uh, but I'm going to say just based off of previous performances and the man himself, uh, Hutchins. I'm, I'm going to say Hutchins is going to win. Uh, even if this Lachlan can even slow him down i'm gonna say that uh maybe he is possibly the real deal but uh he's gonna have to win a match or two i'm saying in my eyes for him to be able to be as good as bowen saying he is but uh my prediction is gonna be a clean sweep 3-0 i believe lachlan may get the position off of the start may hold him for about 10 15 seconds or so and then hutchins is going to engage the side pressure and i say she's going to be game over from there and as she progresses it should be easier and easier for hutchins but i don't know it's hard to say what's going to happen but uh that's that's my guess anyways is hutchins three zero i believe it is best out of five and then there's also another match going on there Travis the Beast Bajan making his comeback against Brandon. Uh, I'm going to have to say, obviously, just even though he hasn't competed in a while, he's out of shape, he's fat, he's lazy right now. I'm going to say, based just off of table experience, Travis is going to win this one. Maybe not off of power, but just off of his table IQ. I believe he's going to have Brandon clustered and... It's going to be game over for Brandon Elliser, as even though he's looking pretty fucking hot right now, uh, dominating that class down there in the States and taking on some pretty big names. I know he wants a big match, uh, hoping for a match with RBJ, but uh, I would say this would be a good test for him. But Travis is the man of manipulation, so I'm going to say Travis is gonna have him clustered off the beginning and it's gonna be a flash uh, I believe because of the shape that Travis is in and he's not tip-top form I'm gonna say that if Brennan can't slow him down at all uh, there's a good possibility of it so Travis 3-0 but you know let's go Brandon eh? let's see if he can pull it off so alrighty guys that's that's my predictions for today. Uh, gonna be making a video tomorrow. Uh, quick little quick little thing about what's coming up for me. Uh, a few things. One thing I will be able to talk about that will be coming up one of my matches. But uh, in the meantime, I am hitting her hard again. I'm getting my ass back in gear. I'm training my ass off. So yeah, those are my predictions. Stay tuned because there will be a lot more to come.